Our next question comes from Christopher Richardson, sent to me at Ask Dave, at Dave Moss Tuning on Facebook. Dave, I'm looking for information on high-speed compression tuning. I have a Penske triple adjust on my 2005 ZX6R and I'm just starting to play with all the adjustments. What would you suggest setting the high-speed compression to? Well, in answer to that question on a Penske, it's usually between six and 10 clicks out from full stiff all the way in, bring it back six to 10 clicks. It depends on the track. It also depends on the nature of the high speed bumps there as to how much damping you absolutely need. Um, if they're really severe sharp edge bumps, then obviously you'll need more high speed damping so the number will get less. I certainly on a Penske triple adjust wouldn't go below five. It gets a little abrupt at that point. And the thing to remember about high speed damping is if you go too far, it will actually take away suspension travel and that will cause harshness. So if you want to experiment, start at say two thirds of the range that you have and work in at two clicks per time or three if there's a lot, say there's 30, so that you can lap after lap after lap figure out is there a change, is there a change. For a while there may be no change whatsoever and then all of a sudden a change becomes very apparent. So then in your notes mark where you can feel the changes. So if at 30 clicks out you felt nothing and at 18 clicks out it felt the same, there's no point going any further. So in regards to that, figure out your range, figure out what you can feel with the rear suspension doing. But as always with testing, your lap times must be the same, your lines must be the same, your corner speed, both entry and mid, must be the same, and certainly when exiting the corner, your throttle application must be the same to be a control so that you can isolate the suspension and feel what it's doing. He also has a second part to that question in trying to figure out whether actually rebound is a problem. There's a particular sharp bump on the entry to a corner and when I go over the bump, the bike is easily unsettled by it. It feels as though it is bouncing off the bump. Could this actually be rebound damping? Well, sure. If rebound damping is set to slow, the shock will pack. And what that means is it will go through its travel and then it will stop. And another bump will come along and it will stop. It does not actually it does not actually release and go back to full extension. So packing too much rebound damping can cause exactly the same problems, the same sensations. So you have to go through hydraulics one at a time to figure out where the course is. A lot of times tire wear will give you that answer. And of course, I can't be there to tell you what that answer is. So be systematic, be thorough. And also, as I say, be in a controlled environment as consistent as you can be. And that should tell you which part of the hydraulics are causing the problem. Thanks very much for your question. If you have a question, please send it to me through Facebook at Ask Dave. At my Facebook site, Dave Moss Tuning. Thanks.